Good day, everybody. Hans here, and welcome to another episode of our beautiful Horatio. Sit back, relax, and go have a snack, and don't forget to yell at your screen. Last episode, we've got the Pestis liking us. We've taken sovereignty over. Now they are still independent, but since they're not already incorporating our territory, we have to do a few minor... Well, we have two options. We can attack them, like always, or they can now give us a mission to take them over. We've gotten some random pops during a population on Virak. We had the Hiroshems. We also had the Calguros, where we incorporate them into our DNA to make everybody happy. Happy, happy is always good. Horatio are already getting plus two happiness on hot planets but now we just get a three base happiness the Hiroshim also give us plus three food so when we incorporate them we do need four of them they will be gene spliced into our traits for that extra plus food and luckily I don't think I looked noticed they take spuds to boost up which is good because we have our economy tree we have 32 spud, gain 2 per turn. We're gaining 7 red sang a turn. Which isn't a lot. And this gives plus 60 food on system. Which is actually really, really good. And when we actually learn and get to the technology for system improvements, we'll look into that. We can also, in one turn, leave the warp paths, the hyperlane paths, excuse me, and go into warp. ERS2 being produced. We're also bringing back, if I can find them, our last population of Horatio. I believe there's three of them on this system, or on the ship, because we need three open tiles in the system to house them. So they'll go to either Yarash or Virak. And they can always go home too, but I think because they were outsiders and coming from a small little locate look ah localized planet that was maybe not the most developed they might need to be slowly integrated back into that beautiful population that is us so we'll send them to our outer world colonies that couldn't be any issues right we don't need to keep them close at home we're also making our first military fleet and it's almost ready in one turn once it does everyone will meet up at Byrak and then we'll finally finally get rid of these nasty pirates and decky I think that's everything. Okay. Varric is now making the cerebral reality for extra signs, which will be great and grand. They are getting close to population cap, so we might focus on getting the Varric 2 colony up. So this has the ancient ruins, the Purim monsoons, and subterranean. It'll be good and hot and stale, which will be perfect for our Horatians. Not Horatians. Our horror ships, excuse me, our Horatio, they like hot too. So they'll not be too bad, too bad, too bad. Ooh, Varric 3 might be a good possibility. And when we get sustainable farms up, it gives 10, uh, 10 extra food per hot. And then if we get, um, let's see, uh, plus 2 extra pop per person, that's not too bad. Uh, let's leave it as it is. We might get something much better. So right now, because we're not getting the most food, we'll just focus on getting Vyak 2 up. Yash. 19 turns. And we are sending food along. So make it go quicker. Oh, we already are starting to colonize. I'm like, let's colonize this. We already are. But let's get a beautifier up. Another colony ship. So we'll go for Rassam. And then also. No. We head for Rigel. Ooh, I mean, Toxic would be amazing. But might not be the best. 
Now these are small planets. But the system is really good in the sense of dust. Now we can't really go for gas giants and be successful. Thus, uh, toxic kind of scares me. But it's so cool, the slip gates. Oh, and you can just see them. You can't get too close, but oh, so nice. This warning is telling us we have an unused law function. Now we can get a lot of extra signs for free. And you know what? Minus two pop per population on system. We do have the ratio, which are getting three. So we can get a lot of signs this way. Now these all cost influence, which you don't produce much of. But cram school, you know what? Let's do it. Let's pass that law. It's going to give us a lot more science. And it's not going to affect our happiness too much. Yeah, static. The virus is still content. So, not the worst. And we can always put it in the supermarket just to counteract that if we really wanted to. Alright, we wasted enough time. Let's get going. Oh, right, that event. Bionic shielding, and we're doing system buyout. Science and exploration, the Intergalactic Technology Center, ITR. Plus 10% science per system level. Minus 10% technology cost on technologies on technology costs. What? Minus 10% cost on technologies on technology costs. I know that means all technologies are minus 10% cheaper, which is really nice. Tool, now we're doing food. Food the Horatio. There's a pirate ship heading out. And there's a pirate fleet. E. Well, this fleet is heading to our home system. So let's actually send... Oh, nope. Doesn't work. Oh, well. Let's say let's send them to intercept, but nah, that's not gonna work. So let's get our fleet up and out, create its fleet, and send them down. Now this is command points. You can only have four command points in this fleet at the moment. Our little ships cost one each. Luckily, a hero ship doesn't cost a command point, so you can have four ships and a hero to make actually five ships in a fleet. Which is actually very nice. Now, Delphinus, we can do assist. Assimilate the minor civilization by providing assistance with a problem. 70 dust. Let's click it and see what we can do to bring them in. Search the curiosity on the Libra 3 with at least 7 titanium. The soldiers died long ago, but the sacrifice is not forgotten. Two centuries passed, that pestis were visited by the star Baron race, descending an elegant craft possessed of powers indistinguishable from magic. The alien being stepped onto the pestis homeworld. Though communication was difficult, the visitors explained very calmly that they wanted what they wanted by the pestis. Two hundred soldiers destined to battle on a distant toxic world, far from their loved ones, and die a certain but honorable death. It is necessary, but all the visitors offered by world word of explanation. Generations later, with your help, the pestis are finally able to visit the fields of war. With titanium protective suits, a pestis party will be able to visit the battlefield where the answers fell. It is at least you can do. Such the curiosity on the planet leave with at least seven titanium. Titanium mine of civilization, hundred dust. Where is Libra? Okay. So, trigger. Ah, we need level 2 expedition to pop that up. And we are actually... Don't we have that now? Advanced scanner. Sets the curiosity detection level 3. Level to 3. Sets the curiosity expedition power to 2. We might be able to do that. 
Oh, hey, we have a new curiosity on Jack and Fjord. A signal. Eh, let's save that. We did grow, Pop. So let's bring this guy home. That should be nice. Because fertile is only good. I mean, temperate. We're looking at temperate temperature. Temperate is very good for our Zavali, while hot is very good for our Horatio. Do we need someone to go to Libra? If we do, we'll get this system. Which will be not too bad. But first, let us take off. Take care of the decky. The pirates. Those ugly, ugly pirates. Event D Ah, the academy has been discovered by an unknown empire. Yeah, we will we were not gonna be able to do that one. The location of the academy has been revealed. There appears to be a bonus for the faction that first made contact. And now it is time to both take advantage of its service and discover its mysteries. The first mystery solved is the name of its leader. He is a Vidani named Aishander Saint Shiad, who founded centuries ago. Okay. Event end. Brett breathes deep. We can no longer see. Plus two vision range. How sad. Now, did this unlock the hero Captain Me screen? It did. By discovering the academy, we can now gain extra heroes. We can see which heroes we might get. We will need 500 hero points to unlock. There are five, currently five heroes in the galaxy. You can also, I believe, buy more heroes through the trading company, uh, through the marketplace. Trading companies, we haven't got to yet, but that's a great way to get more dust and other th luxury items. Sir. Cloche. One more turn. And then we have our military fleet. Which means let us upgrade our scout ships. Because yes, we can also upgrade our scouts. So they have two sets of probes going out, which is not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, actually, we have nothing to upgrade. Never mind. They're set. Look at that, it's a nice ship. Nice looking ship. Looks quite a bit like our weapon. It is. The weapon's just made to be an attack. That's all. That's pretty cool. Okay. I think that's it for now. Ooh, we can send our... Lost Fleet to look at the Libra system. I completely forgot they're coming that way. Ah, oh, we might be able to kill two birds with one stone. How wonderful is that? I think it's great. Now then. Yash is being colonized. Vyak. Ooh. Got another. Yeah. Ba, 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 ba. Anomaly. Let's gain its name. Because we upgraded our detection level. Which is pretty cool. Some still has those too. It'd be so nice to get Skykolja into our empire system. It also gives us influence. It'd be wonderful. So not generally really much influence at all. Does Rigel give us any influence? No, just a lot of signs. So yes, we need a Sam. Let's see our probes. Found nothing. That's sad. Okay. I think that's it. Oh, this music is wonderfully beautiful.
election coming up. Oh my. Market price? Titanium price has increased. Well, we can't take a benefit of that just yet. We got Cerebral Reality. And now we're colonizing Ash. So we got a little extra signs. Let's see, we're getting multi-thread, which is nice. Which should unlock the next level. No, wait. Now we need two of them. So multi-thread and the Galactic Economies. The cheap goods exchange opens the marketplace. And we can actually do buyouts, which is nice. And that'll be useful for... We can actually start using our dust. Ooh, and now colon let's colonize Ash. Plus 10 for luxury. Ooh. No, we don't need that just yet. We need the first two so we can start doing system development. And then we'll look into everything else. Okay. End turn. We're pretty set. Our, our fleets are combining. And the power of the academy has reached level 2. Fuels will start at this level when recruited. And that is nice. FN and Eternal Sunshine. Oh, that was such a nice event, too. Now everything will start growing slower, won't it? Eh. Oh well. Hey, we can now pop the subterranean event. The uh, event. Anomaly. Let's merge our two fleets together. And then upgrade Hunt's ship. Let's pop the anomaly. Mario 2, as we colonize it. Let's see where we get and the subterranean curiosity. We get... I uh, just XP. Uh, not the best thing. But let's see what is on Virac 2. 3, excuse me. We do have some extra probes. We got... Antimatter. Reveals all the hidden ice... Related nodes near this constellation. Oh my! Map makers and ominous. Your crew follows a mysterious electromagnetic ping all the way to its source, a half buried control center in the overgrown ruins of one of the system's planets. A quick raid of the surprisingly modern computer system reveals a detailed map of the constellation, including a few systems in unexpected places. So, what do we find with that? Um. Oh, we found Stratus. Small Terran. Deserted cities. Oh my. Strange fossils. Medium tundra. And large ice. Mineral rich. Ooh, a lot of signs. Mineral rich. Uh, strange fossils. Plus two production. Plus one dust. Deserted cities, plus two science. Oh. Do you guys think this might be Earth? Middle rich, plus three production. That's actually kind of nice. That's a nice system. So all the, all those, all the floating plants in the crater system. Ah, the United... Air goes, United Empire is control. We need six systems now. Dang. So we're getting that plus 15 production. Well, that's why they don't like. So we know they're in our system. We found antimatter on Vera 3. That is very nice. We can't get it just yet. But antimatter is the next level in strategic resources. Let's see what else Vera 3 has. This gives us plus two science. We get 50 influence. Okay. I mean, I like something better, but 50 influence is not bad. Let's path. Ah. Find the last anomaly. We get strong magnetic field. Oh, minus 50 plus 25 science production. Ah. Detriment. Nothing good from this planet. Varric 1 really has nothing good. Long seasons. Strong magnetic fields. <laughs> Very not happy planet. We definitely need stuff to take away those bad anomalies. 
Uh, luckily, back two and back three, not the worst plans. Can always be better, not the worst. Now let's upgrade Hunt's ship. Come on. How do we check again? Our hero screen. Hunt, inspect. Now let's go to your ship. You got quite a few points that can be changed and altered. Alright. We know they're going. They are armor, so that's good enough. We got some support, so we can increase the fleet speed. We can also do nanobots, so all ships in the fleet will repair. Oh, this ship will be repaired after battle and gives 50 extra health, which is nice. And we can do one more attack. We're doing. Basic high slugs? Nah. We'll want energy. There we go. Um. Supply that design. Our ships are fully retrofitted, I believe. All ships up to date. It's doing 91 defense. I believe we did upgrade. Yep. Alright. Time to go to war. Let's clean out these pirates. Oh. In two turns. One more ship can move. Ah, we're in Libra. We got seven anomalies that can be popped. That's nice. Now let's do the quest anomaly. We got a hundred dust. The pest is dignitaries return to their home world, somber and reflected. You can tell how much the visit means to them by the way they clasp their arm and claps your arm and look in their eyes. You can. You are sure they will be useful allies. Faction assimilated. And we got Empire has now access to the Void Stone. You can use it to upgrade your systems in the economy screen. Ooh, Void Stones. Let's see. There's the Delphinus. We got two and our uh, two of their knife ships, which you can't really do anything with, but. They'll be good defensives. They, oh, they got the colony exchange going on. We got three Festus. Atmospheric anomaly. Now, it'd be nice to integrate them at the moment, but yeah, because they give you plus two, plus two production, plus one food. However, we have no Horatio here, so it'll be kind of useless. So we'll need to send some Horatio to the system before we can integrate them. Now then, let's send... Ooh. Well, actually, let's send them to Rigel. And yes, there's another anomaly, but actually... We can send them home. Now what? We need to build stuff for Delphinus. Looks like they weren't really producing anything. So let's definitely go to the drone network. Take two turns. The cerebral reality. For the 1515. They don't have anything else really going for them. We can send out a colonizer. Which would be good. Fragile. Libra. For this small Mediterranean. Dense atmosphere. Titanium. And Hyperium. Lupus. Nothing really standing out. So we might do that. We might send... Ah, no, we can't afford. Never mind. We cannot afford to just yet. So our food is coming from Gestalt. But we are getting these systems into our empire.
Okay. Good on us. Good on us. Just completed the marketplace. So we can do buyouts now. And the, we got the intergalactic supermarket. Can only be built once per empire. Gives us quite a bit of dust. System colonized on Yerash. Your outburst turned to a colony. That is nice. I got a new solo quest. Opening your empire's doors to new population types has its challenges, but it's also its rewards. Each new group adds to strength and flexibility of a society, contributing to the maturity of your empire as a whole. Your objective, capture, assimilate, or attract a new population type into your empire. Organic purity, colonized ice, Angerstadt, and I believe we are sending somewhere. Are they already at Bayak? No. Are we getting a random population going somewhere? No, unless that was, the Harrisham's were that little tiny thing. Oh. I don't think it's the Harrisham's. Nope, there they are. Like, there's somewhere. There they are. And your ash has gone colonized. Drone network, sweet reality. Ooh, gash. So nice. Yash has quite a few s still anomalies. Has one that's locked. Oh my. And life forms. A signal. Very nice. You can do that colony now. To Skyologia. So instead of colonizing Gustav IV, because we do not need a just yet, let's send out a beautifier. It'll take two turns. Let's send it to us out. That means this play will be going to Skyologia. Nothing else there? So that's to Lupus. Alright, well, we'll end this episode by going to doing our first fight, we're at that limit. We have got a new population collection bonus for the Horatio. Oh, wonderful! Deed, study of the worlds failed. Be the first to have eight plants colonized within the Empire. We did not get that. Ah, uh, United Empire did though. You're a sly one, aren't you? Your peaceful approach to the Empire has not gone unnoticed. I have ordered that you be awarded the Purple Falcon for services to the galaxy. You don't like us, then you like us. What is wrong with you, man? He'll level up. Oh, Hunt has leveled up. So let's assign his skill. So we got the Heroic Curiosity, Heroic Curiosity, and Cosmic Castaway. Now we can start going on food. Which would be nice. You can go plus 5% food and plus 5 happiness. Or 10 food per fertile. So that'd be 20 food total. Ah! You know what? I think this is going to be better because it'd be 15% food. Extra production. More deposit value. More happiness. Okay, let's apply the skill. So he's leveled up. Got more her show population. Drone networks have been produced. Back is doing now Harrisham. We get the colony in two turns, so we'll move them over to Varak 2. Very close to leveling up and completing our first quest, our own faction quest. And now let's send in Hunt's fleet. Battle of Deki. So you get tactics. This will. Um, let's go to the band screen. 
So, in Endless Maze 2, you really don't, you don't want, you don't actually contribute in the fighting whatsoever. It's all cinematic and you just watch it. This has no effects, but you can pick out cards that your fleet specializes in and gives you bonuses either to haul. And this one, Turtle, we, we are much better close up, but we do get 25% extra plus 55%, excuse me, hull plating. And we have a lot of hull plating on our ship. We do power to shields. For a shield, we don't have that. Or we vibe and we build plus 15 dust per gain per commit lost CP on fleet. We're not playing to lose anybody. We don't have any shields, so we'll just go and turtle up as we fight. This tells us the strength, what we they are focused on to what we are focusing on. And who is better? Well, they are much better long range and short range. Well, we're about mid range. You can also see their ship. They are, ah, they are focusing all on energy. So we're going to need to retrofit our ships to focus on energy after this. I did not expect that. So our hull plane is going to be pretty much useless. Hopefully that doesn't bite us in the butt. So there are pure energy. So we're going to have to fix this. And the defense is our energy. Ooh, so we got to go switch everything to projectile and shields. Alright, so this is going to be a little bit uh, scary. But let's go for it. And you can either watch him or not watch him. We will watch this. Let's get into the fight. Click space. Oh, look how beautiful this is. And here comes the pirate ship. And they have a little pirate symbol. How sexy is that? And there's the pirate base in the back. Power up, web, power to the guns, folks! Power to the guns! Oh, look at that. And if you hit scan, you can actually see the damage they're taking. Oh, look at that. Woo. Our Guardian is taking all the damage like we hoped it would. And there goes the Pirate Fleet. Decisive victory. And that's just battles. You just watch them. We gain 11 XP. Now we are blockading the Pirate Base. We have to invade now. The only problem is, against the pirates, they have a lot more ground troops than we do. If you go to the army screen, we're all infantry. Now we can increase our infantry, which we will, doing 200 dust. We also get extra 20% uh, damage now, which we will definitely do. So we've leveled them up. And, ooh. Plus 50 damage against air troops on Empire. Okay. Wait, I thought we leveled it up. Oh, we haven't confirmed it. Gosh, 600 dust. 20 titanium and 20 uh, hyperium. Now when we attack... Oh, I didn't want to do that. Eee! Well, 60 against 90. I did not want to do that. Ah, uh, can we cancel? No, we can't. Okay. Oh, different battle plans. We're going to lose this. I didn't want me to do this at all. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, but hey, it's happening. We can preemptive bomb by doing a lot more damage to the defenders. So we will. And we can also watch the fight. Oops. Misclick! Oh, isn't this pretty cool to watch? They are dug in. Why are we playing this long though? Oh, 
Oh, they're firing. We have 75% life left. All the pirates at 53%. That's not too bad. And we had a minor victory. We'll continue in the next round, so this will keep going on. Luckily, we're down to 51 troops. They're down to 48. Of numbers, we did a lot of damage. So keep going on. That preemptive bombing was really nice. And that's it today. We're over time. Thank you everyone for watching. Remember, leave a comment to get a plan named after you. We have a few more plans now in our system. Leave a like. Don't forget that. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more. Thanks everybody. Later alligators. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. If you wish to comment, leave a comment below. If you want to be notified about future videos, subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Have a good day. Later, alligators.